Hi, I'm Daniel Fisher, and on this episode of Synth Clips, we're going to talk about knob mode. Uh, different brands call it different things, but it's basically how do the knobs respond when the value they're at is not actually the physical position of the knob. This happens anytime you have a synthesizer that can save presets. So it will save the value of the knobs, even though the knobs aren't physically in that location. I mean, they might be, but they probably aren't. Which means what happens when you first touch a knob that's at a radically different position than it's stored at? So uh, it used to be originally that, hey, when you touch a knob, it would just jump to that value. And people who were playing live didn't like that because they would all of a sudden want to turn up the filter slightly from where it was, and instead it would jump, either really quiet or really bright, depending on where the knob happened to physically be. And so they came up with these different modes, and every company has different ways of saying them. Um, I'm using the Hydrosynth because they have three of the modes, and uh, it's easy to see what's going on on the screen. So an example of what I'm talking about. I just saved a patch where the filter is closed pretty dark. You barely hear the sound, it's so dark. But I've left the filter cutoff knob all the way up. And so if I touch this knob, it's gonna instantly jump. There's not gonna be any smooth transition to bright. It's gonna go from this to, to that. I could not do this, which I can do now, because now I have control over the knob. And uh, in the ASM and, and other brands, uh, they call this knob mode absolute and I get there by going to system setup and I go to page two and they have knob mode and sure enough right there it says absolute and that means that anytime you touch a knob regardless of where it's stored at it immediately jumps to that new value me I like that because I, as soon as I grab a knob I want to be controlling it I don't want to have to sweep past the correct value before it starts working um, and that's the next mode we're going to talk about so uh, I'm going to go to what they're calling pickup mode. Uh, each brand has a different word for it. Pass through is another one. And so now I'm gonna save that. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn my cutoff knob way up high again. And then I'm going to go back to the dark patch that I had made. But now, watch as I turn the knob, it doesn't do anything until I get to the actual value of where it's really stored at and now I have full control. So there are people who play live, uh, especially when you're using a lot of knobs live, uh, they don't want that jarring jump. Uh, and that's another one of the parameters. Uh, instead of absolute, the Typhon calls that jump, for example. So you're gonna have to get a the source and figure out what each of them are for every brand. But they'll tell you in the manual, and they usually either have two modes, which is an absolute uh, or jump, uh, and then uh, either a kind of a pickup or pass through mode where you have to get to the actual value before the knob works. And then there's another one, some brands call it relative, this one they call it scale. So now I'm gonna physically set the cutoff knob somewhere in the middle and I'm gonna reset my patch so it's dark again. And I'm gonna go into system setup and I'm gonna change the knob mode from pickup to scale. Other brands call this relative, there might be other words as well, but they all mean that as you turn the knob up, it's simply gonna to add to the value it's currently at. If you turn the knob down, it's gonna subtract from the value it's currently at. It can be very musical, unless of course your knob isn't in the middle, you'll kind of be stuck at one end or the other. And when you get all the way hard to one end or the other, then all of a sudden it takes over and you can start using it normally. Uh, but this is what that sounds like. So I have it in the middle, even though it's still dark, as I turn it up, it's going to gently add to it. And as I go to the left, it's gonna reduce it. And as I go to the extremes, eventually it hands over to me. And so those are the three ways. And, and which one do you pick? Honestly, whichever one's right for you. I would say though that while you're programming, not when you're out live playing, but when you're programming, me, I like absolute mode. I want, or jump mode. When I touch a knob, I want it to go exactly to the sound of the position that that knob is. I don't want to have to wait and say, gee, is this knob even working? Because I got to wait till I get to the value. And I don't necessarily want the uh, scale or 
uh, relative mode because what I'm hearing isn't exactly where that knob normally makes that sound. So jump or absolute to me is the one to go with while you're learning synthesis, while you're experimenting. And the only other situation where I would use the other ones is if I was playing live and it was important that I could just grab a knob and not have some weird jump in sound. And that's it. So hopefully it'll give you an idea to try out the different types of knob modes and see what they do. If you have any further ideas for synth clips, just put them in the comments below. If you have any questions about the ASM Hydra synth, please contact your Sweetwater sales engineer. If you want to see all of the synth clips, there's a playlist down below in the info section. My name is Daniel Fisher. Thank you very much for watching.